Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for SAT. We have been solving SAT math problems out of this book here, the official SAT study guide. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 799. Please turn to it, page 799, and today is our lesson number 105. 105. Let's see what we have here, number 13 and 14. We are given a little, we are given three lines here. They look something like this. This is X, this is Z, and this is Y. All right. And the picture is not drawn to scale. Oh, big freaking deal. In the picture above, Z is 30. All right, so Z is 30. Z is 30. Make a note here. Angle Z equals 30. What's the value of X plus Y? All right. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Let's call this angle A and B. Okay, listen to me. A and B. Now, if angle Z is 30, and we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle, any triangle, equals 180, then in that case, what we find is that A plus B plus Z must equal 180. But we know Z is 30, which means A plus B must be 150. We're going to make a note of it, okay? Now what do we know about a straight line? A straight line makes 180 degrees. Here is our straight line and here is a line that goes like this. This we are told is A and this we are told is X. Which means A plus X must be 180. A plus X equals 180. What else we do? What do we know about Y plus B? Same thing. It's a straight line and here is another line going through. This is B and this is Y. This straight line must make 180. Therefore B plus Y, B plus Y must also equal 180, which means this quantity here we see here, A plus X, A plus angle X, and B plus angle Y, A plus angle X plus B plus angle Y must equal 360. Okay, let's continue here. We already know that A plus B is 150, so we're going to put it in here. We're going to write this as A plus B, A plus B, plus X plus Y equals 360. A plus B is 150, plus X plus Y is 360. Therefore, X plus Y equals 360 minus 150. 360 minus 160 would have been 200, so it's 210. That's it, that's our answer. X plus Y is... 210, the answer is D. That's all. The answer is D. This one more, the next one. So this is a separate part. This is a part dealing with this graph and this, this triangle here, A plus B plus Z is 180. From there we found that A plus B must be 150. And then we ask ourselves some of these two angles, A and X, must be 180, and B and Y must be 180. Therefore, A plus Y plus X plus Y, A plus B plus X plus Y must equal 360, or 180 times 2. And from there we figure out X plus Y. Notice that there is no way, there is no way, we're not trying to figure out what X is and what Y is. There is no way to figure out the value of X and Y individually. And nobody is asking us for that. It is impossible to figure out the value of the X and the Y individually, just like it is impossible to figure out the value of A and B individually. There is no way for us to figure out angle A and angle B individually. But we don't need to. All we need to understand is that A and B, whatever the hell they are, their sum must be 150. Do you understand? Let's do the next one. Number 14. It says a function f is defined as x squared 
plus bx plus c, where b and c are positive constant. Keep that in mind. b and c are positive. Which of the following could be the value, which of the following could be the graph of f? Now when you have to identify a graph, your initial, your initial work, your starting point should always be to look for the intercept, the y-intercept and the x-intercept and narrow down your choices and then if you have to do more work, we'll do some more work after that. But first, for first, uh, first step should be to eliminate all the impossible answers based on simply the intercept here. Here, for example, when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, this quantity will drop out because f of x, f of 0 will simply be 0 squared plus uh, b times 0 plus c. b times 0, it doesn't matter what b is, 0 times anything is 0, so it's just c. f of 0 is c. In other words, the value of the function is c when x equals 0. Where does x equals 0? Let's look at the graph. Here's our graph, here's our coordinate system. x equals 0 along the y-axis. It equals here, x equals 0. Which means the y-intercept equals c. This is our y-intercept. y-intercept is c. And we also told that c is positive. So let's first cross out any other choice, any graph that has a negative y-intercept, shall we? Because y-intercept has to be positive. y-intercept is c, y-intercept is when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, the value of the function is c, and c, we are told, is positive. So let's cross out all the other choices first that have negative y-intercept. Let's start. y-intercept has to be positive. Keep that in mind. y-intercept is positive. In A, the graph cuts here. The graph cuts the y-axis here, which is negative. Here, the y-intercept is negative. That's no good. B, the graph looks like this. Right here is the y-intercept. Again, y-intercept is negative. This is where it cuts the y-axis. It cuts the y-axis at this point, which is negative. That's not good. Let's look at C. In C, it cuts the y-axis at the origin, which is zero. Zero is neither positive nor negative. For crying out loud, we are looking for a positive y-intercept. Zero is not positive. That's not it. D. I don't know about you, but the, sus but the suspense is killing me. D. Well, I didn't actually draw it properly. It doesn't really matter. You can clearly see that it's a negative, negative y-intercept. It will go something like this. It's a negative y-intercept. That's not it. The answer is E. The only answer to eyes, the only answer to eyes that they give us with the positive y-intercept is E, which looks something like this. There you go, you see? This is the this is this this quantity, this equals to C. And the coordinates of this point are 0 and C. 0 and C, which is a constant and it's a positive. The answer is E. That's all. I will see you tomorrow when we'll do the last two questions in this section. Number 15 and 16 are kind of hellish. We'll deal with them tomorrow, okay? Bye now.